Hey guys, so today we have a video about Kylie Jenner. I feel like the last time I spoke about her was when allegedly there was all this like timeline issues with Trevor Scott cheating on her with her lookalike or who Kylie wants to look like or it's kind of difficult to decide who is a lookalike of who um, depending on who gets the surgeries to look like. I'm actually gonna stop talking now. Oh, Rhoda just dropped the phone cases that I've been waiting for. Buying live on air. I keep on forgetting what phone I have. That's my biggest problem, I guess. I'm in line to check out. Subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. Let's get into Kylie Jenner. So Kylie Jenner has opened a lot of brands based on things that people pay attention to about her. So one was her lips, she was started the lip kits and now started a whole cosmetics line which has gone through ups and downs. I actually did a video on that on my second channel where I do a bunch of like beauty related stuff. It's this video, so just watch that one. Um, if you wanna just get a full breakdown of how Kylie Cosmetics came to be, how it got sold, how it got bought, um, the ups and downs and the falls and the whatever. And then I feel like Kylie Jenner, I mean, people started focusing on her figure a lot because she had a lot of work done. She would take these magnificent pictures in her mansion at the pool with her like swimming costume on her bikini and I feel like everyone just wanted to look like that. I think a lot of people wanted to look like that. So she released a bikini line and it was the worst reviewed bikini line I've ever seen. People were saying it was like thin. It was not covering your vagina at all. Like I don't know whose vagina is that small. It was like see-through, it wasn't built well, but it was super expensive. My Kylie swimwear is here. I wanted to do a quick review. Disclaimer, please do not hate me. These are my personal opinions. And I'm a swimwear designer myself. I created mine last year, so my opinions will be based off of the business side of things. When you open the box, this is what you get. The first thing I notice is the Kylie tag. You can see it straight through the back, which is kind of strange. So I grabbed something with text to put behind the fabric goes here. What? What? I wanted to do a comparison of the front coverage of the bottoms. Um, this is Kylie, this is mine, Aerie and Target. The Kylie is around an inch and a half of front coverage and I just personally don't know anyone's bodies that this would work for. I'm running out of time, part two is already up. How? How is this supposed to work? Do I just... I think the cut of it is very unique and cool, but I feel like if I move an inch, you're gonna see everything. Also, the fabric is very obviously see-through as we talked about in the last part. So I'm confused how I wear this in public confidently when everyone can see every square inch of my body. I just noticed where they put this pin on the fabric is actually gonna cause a hole in this material. On the plus side, the website looks nice. Final thoughts, I am completely and totally disappointed that this is completely see-through. I've seen the behind the scenes of what it takes to produce swimwear and the fact that no one caught that this is completely see-through blows my mind. I'm sure they did because they had to Photoshop some of their photos to make this work. For me, it comes down to lack of integrity as a business owner and an entrepreneur. When you put something out, you want people who are spending their hard earned money on it to be a good high quality product. And the fact that they gave this the thumbs up is really concerning to me. And she's seemingly gotten rid of that now. Let me just quickly look it up. Bikini. Kylie Swim, the actual website is like not coming up. So when I type in Kylie Swim, it's literally like Opoly comes up and then the Kylie Swim Instagram comes up, but not the actual website. I guess it's on kyliejourner.com, but that's Kylie Cosmetics. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem to be anywhere. So it, it, on the Instagram for Kylie Swim, it just directs you straight to the Kylie Jenner website, which has Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Skin, and Kylie Baby, which is kind of more beauty related products, but I don't see her bikinis here. But yeah, she sold those and there were a bunch of reviews on um, TikTok and it blew up for the reason that you don't want your brand to blow up for. It's like poor sizing, poor build, poor quality, expensive prices, doesn't cover your vagina, like made for a doll. Oh my God, the phone case is sold out. I am so angry. So Kylie Swim kind of flopped. And the thing is, it was kind of awful because at the same time as um, Kylie Skin was, no, 
not Kylie Skin, Kylie Swim. Why is everything just sounding the same? Kylie Swim was coming out. Kim Kardashian launched a line of swimwear and it was a bunch of different, like you could basically mix and match different. I think it was really smartly done. Like it was really well done and it seemed to be really good quality. And I feel like since then I've heard of like great things about those bikinis. Well, today I have some skin swim. It works. Swim is so hard to find, so let's try it. So this is the thong one. You know me, you know that I love skin. So obviously I ordered their swim, a full set, so let's try it on. I love this color. Okay, so I got these bottoms and a little cover up. There is the strap, you can take it on or take it off. I'll probably take it off because I like this bandeau-y type. Okay, I love this. The material is so soft. It definitely is flattering too. This color is also beautiful for summer. You did it again, Skims. And they're still on the website. They are that like interesting, like you can mix and match and there's like long top ones, crop tops, bikinis, halted, like, and then you can like mix it with different types of bottoms, but they're all like the same fabric and the same color, which is like my ideal type of um, bikini range, where you can like mix and match different styles. Cause if, like everyone looks good in different styles. And I hate that, for example, if you look good in a thong bikini, they'll pair it up with like a teeny tiny top. But what if you want a full coverage top with a thong? So then like, she mixed them matched and I thought it was great. And so people were basically saying like, it's a shame that Kylie Jenner released this like bikini line when her sister was doing such a great job. Like why can't they just use the same manufacturer? And then I feel like Kylie started focusing on her outfits. I feel like, I don't know if people remember this, but for a long time, um, Kylie was slated for the way she dressed. I feel like I saw nothing on TikTok, but how poorly dressed people think she is for how much money she has. So I feel like since then she has definitely upped her fashion game. Um, she definitely goes to more fashion shows and she's more artistic. She does a lot of these like artsy photo shoots and I feel like she takes herself way less seriously now for some reason. I don't know, she's been dating Timothy Chalamet as well so like, that maybe adds to like not needing to be this like baddie type thing. Like she dresses a lot more interesting now. So she has since announced a clothing line called Kai. I went on the website and the prices are kind of skims and the website looks skims and the fabrics and the way the pictures are taken the way the models are modeled looks like skims like a dress is 105 it's a kind of maxi dress a shorter dress is 81 a twisted top is 69 and then she has like the faux leather stuff which i uh, this might be controversial i would have preferred for her to make real leather stuff um because i find in my opinion that real leather is actually more sustainable than faux leather because faux leather is plastic. So you might as well be buying polyester outfits. It cracks, it peels. I refuse to buy faux leather, even when I was vegetarian, like refuse to buy faux leather because I just found the whole idea to be backwards. You know, you're like vegetarian for the sake of the planet and animals, but instead of buying real leather, which I get that like you don't want to kill animals. That's like the whole thing. But if you're just looking at the sustainability of the planet, the animals have already been killed, so like, no, like this is morbid now, okay? The animals have already been killed, so the leather is, is an off product that people are gonna eat, necessarily. Uh, not a lot of people eat skin. And so that's gonna be used for bags and stuff. And real leather items survive ages. I mean, if you go on The Real Real or Vesta Collective or any kind of those companies, you'll see a bunch of leather handbags from the 90s that have survived and they have a few scuffs on them at most. I remember we used to in my childhood home have a faux leather couch and it cracked like almost immediately and it would be like almost sharp. And I just find whenever I see people wearing faux leather stuff, they have to throw it away like every few months because it just breaks. So anyway, I would have preferred for her to make a real good quality leather collection, but I know that would have been way more expensive. And I think she was trying to price herself at that like mid, mid range, not super kind of high street, but she wanted it to be more accessible because I think if she started releasing like 500 pound leather dresses, people would have slated her, but I actually would have much rather seen that than like faux leather. And people started reviewing that. That was like her first launch was the faux leather stuff. And people started reviewing it and it looked awful. Like the fit wasn't good. It crinkled and crankled and made the noises that you'd expect faux leather to make. And it just looked quite cheap.
Don't waste your money on Kylie Jenner's new fashion line. It's rough right now and we'll see how much worse it gets. This is the vegan leather top. It does have a scent. These are the vegan leather pants, which are about as tall as me. Wait, is this a joke? Wait, 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 you're kidding. I do really like the top. It is adjustable, cinches your waist. Very good so far. I think these weigh like 10 pounds, they're so heavy. Good luck packing this in your suitcase. I look like I'm gonna join your local biker gang. Still dragging on the floor, even if I am on my tippy, tippy, tippy toes. They look like I have a BBL. <laughs> they're making so many noises. I feel like I could start like a beatbox band with these, like psh, psh, psh. May I present to you six inch heels to see if these will fit. I'm still stepping on the pants. So unless you are six foot tall, I do not recommend these. I am 5'5", five five, even with six inch heels, which makes me six foot. That was bad math. They're still too long. Bye bye. Now actually, Christy, who is spill sesh, I saw that she reviewed Kai because people are comparing it to Skims and saying that it's basically a Skims dupe, a dupe, but it's like the same price, but it like it's a Skims dupe because everyone loves Skims. Skims has been such a success for Kim. And I think it's because it's so well thought out. When you think of Kim, you think of the body, you think of the exaggerated shape, you think of that, right? So like, it makes sense that she would create a Skims. Oh, it's just so smart. Skims, like, it's just a good brand. And the thing is, it's a good idea, but I feel like the execution is also good. People have said that the quality is amazing. I'm yet to try something. And if you have anything that you've tried from Skims that you're like, oh wow, like this is amazing. Cause it's so overwhelming to go on the website. There's just so much to pick from. So if you love something, let me know. Or if you've seen people talk about something that they love, let me know. People are basically comparing it and saying that it's like the same thing. So they're not really sure why Kylie released that. And also because Kylie was not like the fashion sister. It would almost make more sense for Kendall to release fashion because she's a model. But Kendall's doing her tequila stuff. And actually the way she's doing the tequila stuff right now, once again, super smart. She's doing like college parties. She's doing like a college tour where she parties with a bunch of like college kids and makes them drinks. I thought that was really smart from Kendall to like work on the marketing for a bit. I feel like I just didn't hear enough about the tequila, but now I feel like it's making sense and skims make sense. This Kai just doesn't make sense to me. Like I was saying, Christy from Spill Sesh actually compared, she bought kind of similar products from Kai and skims and the packaging it came in down to like the little baggies looked identical. It literally looks like it's coming from the same factory. Like it's being shipped from the same warehouse to with different logos. This is skims and this is Kai. Okay, so this is how skims comes. And then everything is in these little baggies. There's like these little plastic bags that everything comes in that apparently Kylie's packaging is also supposed to be the same, but I guess we'll crack that open and see. This is the hoodie that I got. It feels heavy and the pants. Okay, as for Kai, wow, it's like literally the same thing. I mean, Come on, are they sisters or what? But even like the little baggies, I guess this is like a little bit of a different material than this. This feels like lighter. So this is what everything comes in. Literally like the same vibe as Skims. This is heavy and this is the hoodie. Cracking into the Skims package, this is the tank. This is the hoodie that I really liked. These are the pants and I had an issue with these. They looked like they were pilling. Like it looked like I had already washed them or worn them a couple times. From Kai, this is the tank top that I got, which I will say when it comes to Kai and Skims, this tank top that I ordered from Kai and the tank top that I ordered from Skims are the exact same material makeup. In the description on both sites, it both says they are 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So it doesn't make sense to me at all. Some of these products are sold out, some of them are not. I just feel like I haven't heard the same buzz. Even Kylie Swim was getting more buzz for the wrong reasons because people were like buying it to give it a negative review. With this, I'm not even hearing that. So that is like a crime in itself. Because it's not about like good PR, bad PR, there is no PR, which is even worse. So then we have new drama with Kylie Jenner releasing a perfume 
under the Kai range, right? And it's weird to me because she's raising a perfume under the Kai range, which is the clothing range, but she has the Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Skin, Kylie Baby. So it didn't make sense to put Kai under the Kylie Skin, Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Baby because it's a skin product, kind of, right? But she's putting it under the Kai. It just makes, the branding right now is not making, that's why I'm comparing it to like Skims, the branding makes sense. And like the tequila with the college students, it makes sense. There's brand awareness, blah, blah, blah. This makes no sense to me. I don't know why she's raising a perfume instead of putting it under the Kylie Skin range or just having a separate tab for fragrance under the Kylie, because it's Kylie Skin, Kylie Baby, because it links to those, but she's putting it under Kai. Anyway, so she had an event recently to announce it and she had this like cake for that event, which was like this messy cake. Yip.studio underscore, who make incredible like messy looking like weird cakes, like quirky cakes, I love it. Posted, so this was about the LA Kardashian Jenner event inquiry. Hi Amy, we actually just heard back today and they won't have the budget to accommodate. They can only afford a cheap slash bad knockoff apparently. And then she posted the cake that they got, which was the knockoff cheap cake that she didn't make, but it's like based on her inspiration. So she was like, I had to make this whole deck because apparently they couldn't imagine a pink cake based on images I sent them of pink cakes. And so she posts more of the inspo that she sent them. I even showed them examples of how I've worked with other clients and did not even upcharge them. So she's worked with Glossier, uh, which looks incredible. They're asking me to take this down, but I didn't sign any NDA. Had they said something like, we're not doing desserts anymore, then I would be like, okay. And had they also not already gotten this knockoff in the past, I'd be annoyed that I wasted time making the deck, but I'd be fine. But the price, please assist at Diet Prada. Um, I've had hundreds of replies already. The power of social media is astonishing. I feel like I'm doing something bad, guilty for exposing it. But I also know that this kind of thing happens all the time and people need to be called out for it, period. I was reached out to over a month ago and I told them the price after the first email. I even tried to hold off on orders mid next month because I was excited by the opportunity. I was even willing to have it coincide with a pop-up in LA so that I would be able to cover the cost of travel and accommodation myself. I've gotten so many responses, I won't be able to answer them all, but thank you for your support and kind words. I'm just really burnt out after the last three weeks, but also two years of running this little cake business and this just hit me over the edge. And he's back to making cakes tomorrow. To be fair, not all the blame is on one party. I was corresponding with the event planner, but they had claimed to have other reasons to save face. I know jobs are on the line, so they are lucky that I won't be exposing the name of the company. It's unfortunate for them that their client had a knockoff of my cake months ago, but they should have known this before reaching out to me and using the status of their client to get away with wasting my time, which is so true. And yeah, so Kylie, not only is this, there's this like branding issue, right? But there's also this issue of not really knowing what field she wants to go into, not really being super passionate about any of it, and also just kind of not. Uh, this is kind of sucky, um, but let me know what you guys think. Subscribe with the bell icon for engagement. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.